is Chris at handfulloftranquility.com. Be sure to go to the website for additional blog posts that don't make it into videos, or click subscribe on my YouTube channel to get alerted when I make a new video. I recently did some plumbing work, and I wanted to be able to detect leaks, so I made my own leak detector. Let's watch that one more time close up. So even just one tiny little drop of water, and you can instantly tell whether you've had a leak recently or not, even if it's completely dry. So now let's show how to make it. The sample I showed you just before was made with the flossine. This is the stuff that makes uh, cotton candy and gives it its color and its flavor. Just a little bit goes a long way. If you don't have a cotton candy maker, then you could also use some kids' tub coloring, which you may not have laying around, but it's only a few dollars at the store. And so here are a couple samples of each of those. This is a sample made with the tub coloring, and that is a sample made with the flossine. The difference between them is that the tub coloring has a lot less coloring agent, and so it takes a lot more of the material to really see that it's working. As I said, it takes a lot more of the tub coloring because the concentration of the dye isn't as great. You could probably get by with a little less than this. But really, you're looking for anything that has a high concentration of powdered dye. And the simplest version is just to sprinkle it on a paper towel, stick it on a tray, and stick it where you may have a leak. This now we'll go to a slightly more advanced version. We'll spray just a thin layer of this adhesive on a paper towel. Okay, the flossine is some very powerful stuff. Two tablespoons gives cotton candy 10 pounds of sugar worth of cotton candy flavor and coloring. So we're just going to take a tiny bit here and sprinkle it just very, very scarcely. I don't know if it'll even show up on the video, but it really doesn't take much. So on this paper, I've got about half of the half of the paper width covered in the flossine. You can see it turns my fingers extremely blue just from a little bit of moisture. So then we're going to take a little bit of the bathtub toy or the bathtub coloring and do the other half of the paper with it to show the difference between the two. So if I do the bathtub coloring even just a little bit heavier, we'll show the difference and you can see how effective each one is. All right. All right, now we'll stick a drop of water on each side and you can see the difference. That's the flossine side. And that's the bathtub toy. You can see the bathtub toy doesn't work very well unless it's quite a bit of water in a big concentration. That's why my earlier trial had quite a bit more on it. So with the glue on there, you can just go shake it out over a trash can and get the loose particles off and be left with just the effective paper towel. This is the same principle used in the little red dots in your cell phone.